Hi folks, this is Nachiket signing in for today's topic cover up works under the physical site condition. So remember we are doing this presentation for low risk building and building built from scratch under the prime phase substructure works. Cover up works. These are basically a group of small small activities that basically completes the entire procedures of substructure works. So let's take a deep into the sequence of cover up works. Number one, that is sand backfilling. Okay, why this particular word cropped up once again? We have already covered this previously, right? Then why it cropped up? Basically, this backfilling is a depth of one feet to around one point two feet, right? Basically, the plinth beam depth. So that particular uh, uh, depth is covered, backfilled again. and compacted as per standard operating procedure second in the line is periphery waterproofing uh, we will know more on this in the next slide the next is periphery wall plaster then second is anti termite treatment then third is sanitary line conduiting this is not a uh, means this is optional work though not permanent or not mandatory it requires in case you don't have any area left for a uh, sanitary line conducting work okay don't have any periphery uh, location like that offset from the boundary wall is not available in that case you have to do internal central line conducting so best is to complete it uh, beforehand okay so sometimes what happen is the last activity that is floor pcc metalling before this getting this floor finishing level uh, the sanitary pipeline is completed and many a times uh, what we do is we leave the bathroom or sunken areas or the wet areas in the areas like kitchen also we leave it uh, for uh, the sanitary pipeline works but uh, better is complete it then also complete the floor pcc level or leave it you can do it afterwards after the plumbing and sanitary work is done okay so next is periphery waterproofing to understand uh, why this periphery waterproofing is required periphery wall waterproofing it's quite important as there are uh, because these are the most exposed uh, part of the building and it is down the sub area substructure area so uh the particular uh means after some time when you raise the brick wall it act as a retaining wall and uh, in both the sides in one side sand is kept and another side if you don't fill up the sand you feel the local soil out there uh basically for gardening purpose it act as a plinth protection as well okay so to conduct this particular periphery waterproofing you need to clean the wall surface the brick wall surface and remember this is done in brick wall not in not over plaster okay because this saves the wall uh, from basically the shrinkage plaster cracks okay so clean the wall surface thoroughly uh, via jet water jet then use a brick sealer damp guard chemical waterproofing chemical uh, these are basically elastomeric compound then uh, mix as per company standard instruction because it comes with uh, two parts in they it may come in two parts so you need to uh, mix part a part b then you have to you can also mix it with cement in some cases it also happen but uh, depending upon the company's uh, standard instruction or the water being company standard instruction do mix it okay then use a stirrer uh, to make this homogeneous mix okay the next apply two coats in criss cross criss cross pattern you can see here this criss cross pattern this is applied over the brick wall surface okay the next is allow it to dry for at least 6 hour, 6 hours then you can start the plastering works or even you can leave it you can do it after 2 through 3 hours but uh, you won't be finding any kind of fungal infection or kind of fungal bloom over in the brick wall which normally happens due to due to this curing water okay so next is a periphery wall plaster so what are the quality points that you need to check uh, while conducting uh, this activity okay so clean periphery debris 
over and then plaster level dots provide level dots you can see here uh, this level dots you can see okay so these are quite important because this helps to make a proper aligning uh, surface of plaster work okay then maintain motor ratio this is the must basically based on the uh, drawing design it is given in the specification drawing specification so whatever the specs are there for outer plaster uh, always maintain it okay you can also use waterproofing compound in this uh, ratio uh, in case of periphery wall plaster okay the next is uh, wash organic soil from sand uh, you have to wash it uh, wash the organic soil from the sand then sieve sand before use uh, because you need uh, not coarser sand you need finer sand okay so always uh, sieve it to remove the coarser sand from the uh, the sand lot okay the next is use skilled workmanship this is quite important because a skilled workmanship give a very good finishing at the end uh, if you don't get it you'll find out uh, a wavy kind of plaster work at the end okay so be very careful about that then wash the surface before plaster then water should be free from salts the water used for this cement plaster you will see that there will be a white spots mark in the plaster this uh, basically happens due to effluence and due to presence of salts in the water so use uh, water which are free from salts uh, make a water check before hand the construction work and find out if there is uh, a hard water kind or soft water kind of water that you are generating from the source okay then next is quality points that needs to be taken care in floor pcc metalling okay so number one use 40 mm size aggregate x size it should be one size and 40 mm size aggregate should be used then next is provide concrete level dots you can see here these level dots are placed okay so provide these level dots properly then next is maintain dead slope always maintain dead slope don't keep any sloping kind of thing you can maintain a slope in case of bathroom or wet areas okay there you can maintain but not in anywhere else of the building floor finish level okay maintain pcc ratio as per uh, drawing specification always maintain the pcc ratio okay whether it is m7.5 or m10 whatever it is but check the drawing specification then uh, maintain the pcc ratio it can be nominal though no issue then last is always uh, broom finish the pcc of uh, metal floor okay this is quite important then next is place pcc in bathroom post sanitary Conducting means uh, basically the same thing that I said before. Uh, means uh, for the sanitary conducting, never do the PCC. Otherwise, you have to again rework. You have to break the PCC surface, and again go for this. Okay. So now is the safety rules. I keep on repeating these rules. This is quite important. Always use personal protective equipments at site. If you don't have, issue it uh, from your uh, procurement team. then always barricade the area where the construction is being done so these are the basic do's and you need to be very careful about tripping hazard this is a very uh, common caution given to all the workmen at site make uh, arrange a uh, lot of pep talks at site uh, gather all the workmen on uh, one place and always caution them about the tripping hazard these are quite common there are chances of head injuries there are chances of uh, lot many issues may come crop up if you are not careful at site okay so be careful about uh, uh, still nails which are basically above in the uh, pattas or the shuttering materials uh, we leave it naked and sometimes uh, workmen get damaged uh, due to this particular open nails okay so be careful about saw blade as well then never ever stay near heavy machinery under operations okay so thank you see you in the next video that is lintel level up to lintel level under the very prime phase that is super structure works